so the male and bonding episode of Seinfeld, the second episode, really. Um, I uh, I liked it. It's just again, it's not, I don't think it's really something that pulled me in. I can definitely see things solidifying more with this. Um, one one of the major things was that like the whole set has been was redesigned. And it's kind of the set that you see as the series progresses, you know. Um, I know the pilot episode had a completely different diner. Jerry's apartment was layered differently. And so kind of seeing that now, you know, it's just, it's, like, again, it's interesting to see how things change as um, a series or a show progresses. Um, one thing, it's, like, I don't feel like Kramer at this point has been really, like, initiated into, like, a main cast. He feels like more of a, like a side, I mean, he feels like more of a side character rather than one of the main cast. And I think part of that kind of goes with, at this point in the show, it's really, there's not like a subplot going on. It's mainly just Jerry's thing going on and the rest of the characters just kind of reacting to it. So I think that's kind of, that's kind of why, that's kind of why Kramer feels like a side character. George less so because he's interacting mostly with Jerry and he's kind of giving his whole input on the whole thing. But Kramer just feels like a side character. Like, I know in this episode, he came in with this whole idea of making a pizza pie, which I actually am kind of behind the idea. I think that would be really cool to do. I think the one of the, I think what would be really cool is if you did that as, like, a team-building exercise, you know? You have, like, you have your group of people, and you come in, you know, you need to build up your team or strengthen your teamwork, and you make your own pizza. It actually... That actually would be good because it shows like at the end like a good team makes a good pizza and like proper teamwork and like the end result is really good. I think that would be a really cool idea and I'm surprised nobody's really capitalized or even tried that. I mean, I'm pretty sure somebody has at some point. This show's like 20 years old. I'm pretty sure somebody in the span of this time would have done that, but uh... I like the make your own pizza pie idea. I'm a, I'm a supporter of it. So somebody out there, let's try and get that done. Let's try and make that. And um, this is the the first um appearance of Elaine, which was kind of funny. It just she's just kind of there. She kind of appears there, which I don't, I don't know. Like, and and they kind of like introduce like the character a bit more. You know, Kramer comes in and calls her Elaine. Um, they explain how, they ex they explain how um, she and Jerry like broke up or still friends. That was, it just seemed really, uh, I don't know, kind of shoot in. And I, I like in this episode. I'm not sure how this will keep going, but how Elaine's Brooklyn accent is a lot more like, I, it's a lot more apparent than compared to how her voice is in later episodes. Um, on the plot itself, I can. I I, I want to say this may be one of the first um, shows to do the whole, uh, like the whole breakup scene without the traditional oh it's a guy and a girl thing. It's just um, it's Jerry breaking up with his friend, and so he starts crying. And though he kind of was a dick, like he he goes. <laughs> My fears of getting a job in the food service and being a waiter would be to deal with dickish customers. Oh man. But like he like he's all like I want turkey breast and uh and he's like do you have real turkey and the way he's like oh I don't know uh it's uh, I think so. It's like well why don't you go back and check to see if it's a bird that and come back and tell me if it's real turkey. I'm just like dick. <laughs> like I I, I would not be able to handle that. Well, I, I, I probably would. I would be able to handle it. I'd, I'd take it. I wouldn't like it, though. <laughs> but, um... It does touch on that one kind of subject that I think everybody has. They have that friend that, like... They're your friend, but you don't really hang out with them. You don't, you, you don't really care for them. I think more so now, with the advent of Facebook and stuff, where you have all your friends that really aren't friends. Maybe not even acquaintances at that much, but 
And I'm pretty sure I'm somebody's friend. Friend. And I have some people that are like that for me. Again, Facebook. Um, which is why I try to delete people who I just don't talk to or don't really hang out with that much. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of a, trying to think of a real fun joke to, that I, I kind of enjoyed. Um, not really getting anything, um, or can't really think of anything. It just, I think that's the, that's, I'm not sure what the hook of Seinfeld, or where the hook of Seinfeld is that really got people to watch. I think, maybe, I think it's maybe that kind of, that element of that people can relate to it that they're going through this but the issue it's a show about nothing and so the issues like the characters deal with are kind of very common issues and so I think everybody else can relate to that because it may not have been fun I, it may not have found a lot of funny material in this episode but I definitely enjoyed watching it so that's really my thoughts on the second episode of Seinfeld but um, yeah, that's it. Nothing more I can really add. Um, looking forward to the next episode. See you later.